I'm back to saying the same stuff that I said 30 years ago mm -hmm. and people treating it like it's novel and brand new. And so I, part of me is like, well, did, didn't we, did we make no progress? Um, but another part of me says, yeah, I mean, we've made some progress, but the things that haven't changed that are really significant are, are the power structures around software development. And yeah. it, until those change, the, the test driven developments of the world and the continuous integrations of the world are shadows cast by the power structure. And you can't change the shadow without changing the reality. And uh, that's kind of where it feels like to me. There's still so much potential in software development that's unrealized. And yet it's the human problems that we need progress on if we're going to actually make any fundamental lasting change. Yeah. Uh, it, I, it, it seems to me that it's kind of an interestingly, that's uh, one of the reasons that I enjoy, have enjoyed my career in software development is that it seems to me that it's, it's quite a deep profession. There's, there are some kind of profound ideas and truths at the heart of software development. You know, this idea of dealing with this ephemeral stuff called information. And, and that seems like, you know, modern physics think, you know, is starting to see that as a fairly deep and profound idea in its own right. But the oh, one of the ideas that I, 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 I've thought for a while now that the, ad, the agile movement so I think it has had a positive impact, but I'm I'm starting to think of it more a bit like, you know, Newtonian mechanics versus general relativity. It was it was a, a rough a good approximation of where we need to get to, but it wasn't kind of the, you know, that that more things came will come 